walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say It's easier said than done Hello everyone and welcome to today's very exciting video. Today is my first day of medical school, which is, I, no words. I am so, so, so grateful. However, things are still not completely normal. So today is our first day of orientation and all of that is going to be held online over Zoom. So I don't really know what to expect. I do wish that this could be in person. I feel like this is such a special part of our journey and I know everyone has worked so hard to get here and I really wanted to meet some of my peers and classmates because of the current situation in the world this is probably the safest option so we're gonna do the best with what we got I woke up today at 6 a.m. and I did a quick little at-home workout orientation starts at 8 30 which is pretty early but generally I think most of our classes go from 8 30 to 5 30 so that is something that I'm going to have to get used to. I just want to say welcome to today's video. I'm going to be taking you through what my first day of online medical school looks like. And later on, I think I'll also give you some apartment updates. Um, as you guys can see, things are coming together and it's all very exciting. It is 10 minutes until orientation begins and this is my current desk setup. I thought I would give you a little overview. I have a bunch of school supplies on the left. My iPad, which I don't think I'm taking any notes today, so it's just charging right now. I got my coffee, my water. Um, these are some books that I'm planning on reading. I feel like the few minutes before a Zoom meeting starts is always the most awkward time because I don't want to be the first person on the Zoom meeting. So I wait until it's like 10 seconds before the meeting time and then I click in. So that's <laughs> what I'm gonna do today. But I'm super excited. We are starting off today with kind of a general welcome message, um, talking about how medical school works, how to be successful, how exams work. And then we have a lunch break from 12 to one. My medical school curriculum also includes small group sessions. So we all have our own small groups that we are going to work with in terms of learning content and just group projects to help promote collaboration and all that. So I'm going to be doing a practice meet and greet with my small group today. All in all, today's whole thing will be from 8.30 to 3.30. So that'll be really nice. I'll have the afternoon to kind of decompress a little bit. Eight minutes until the Zoom meeting starts. <laughs> Gonna wait until the last possible minute to join. It really is an incredible journey. Um, that first day of school, I met some of my lifelong friends. You've heard that from many people, so this is not unique. It is 3.15 p.m. and I officially finished my last little part of the first day of medical school. For the last half hour, we did our small group meeting and it was super fun. Um, I'm really excited to get to know my small group better. Overall, my first day was super inspiring. We got to hear from a lot of the faculty and I just think it's so great that all of the faculty, our educators, our doctors themselves, because they provided a lot of just wisdom and experience about the profession and the field. It was so lovely just hearing about their family lives too outside of medicine so I'm just so excited to be pursuing this career and to be part of it that being said there were some parts that were more engaging than others and tomorrow we're going to have some more sessions talking about mental health immunizations study habits etc etc so I'm looking forward to those as well but since I have a few hours before the workday technically ends. I think I'm going to be doing some work on my science paper. I've been putting it off just because moving out has taken up so much of my time and energy, but I think I'm gonna try to do some work on it today.
today because I am leading a meeting on my review paper on Wednesday. Basically this summer I'm trying to get two different papers published. So there's a lot of just writing and revising and collaborating, coordinating that I need to do. So I need to get back on that. So I think I'm gonna do some more work on that. But yeah, super great first day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Feeling super grateful. <laughs> It is officially after 5 p.m. I'm done working. I wonder what we're gonna do now. Officially the end of the night. I did my skincare. I put on a face oil, so that's why I'm super shiny right now. But I thought I would just end off this video. I inputted all of my classes into my calendar app. So basically, tomorrow is going to be another long day of orientation. My last session ends at 5:30, and I also have a bank meeting in between to finalize my paperwork for student lines of credit. That last little clip was a little sneak peek of our apartment so far. Things are really coming together and we're still working on a few finishing touches, but the apartment is feeling super homey and super complete. So I'm definitely going to be doing more apartment updates in my future videos, so make sure you subscribe. I am feeling pretty pooped. It is getting kind of late, so I think I'm going to do some reading and then go to bed. Right now, the book I'm reading is 21 Lessons for the 21st Century by Yuval Noah Harari. I shared this book on my Instagram stories and a lot of you messaged me saying that you guys read the book too and that you really enjoyed it. So far, I am really enjoying it too. Even though I feel that there are some ideas or views that may be a little bit overblown, um, dystopic, and doesn't really address the limitations of the science. I feel like that may be a bias just because I do have a background in neuroscience and I've gotten a lot of exposure to thinkers that work in areas such as biotech and artificial intelligence and just the whole idea of consciousness is something that we talk about a lot. Some of the kind of ideas about AI taking over the world um, feel a little bit overblown to me but overall I do think his ideas are so well explored and I just love 
his overarching narrative of human history i feel like he has such an in-depth understanding just of how human society works and how human nature creates these societal structures so i love i am loving reading this book right now really really insightful thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you subscribe for more medical school vlogs coming up very soon so again thanks so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye it's not a game, it's a rich thing.